Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. JC here with another video on Action Temenin. Today we're going to check how to use mic. But before we start, don't forget to leave a like, share and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Also, comment on what you think about the character because uh, when we check the kit I'm going to get some comments on her skills. But uh, as always she's strong, but there's a couple things unlike the, the other characters that <laughs> need to be addressed. So, Kamimura Maika. She's gonna be a Protect Human character. Mine is maxed out. Um, let's see. I, I only have uh, this in attack. And uh, being a, a human, Protect is kind of good, kind of good. Protect has a lot of uh, benefit in the defense department uh, and also the attack department. Both, both sides of the spectrum work pretty well for Protect. And human, uh, it works with crit, it works with uh, tanky build, so let's check what we can do with her. Uh, but first, we need to check those skills. So, we're gonna begin with the timing in art pyro. But this, oh my god. So, the, the, to begin with, there's a problem with Micah's basics. They are too slow. I mean, it's kind of understandable that she is slow. Uh, on her basic attacks because she's using a bazooka, yeah. And she does deal um, a big amount of damage on those basics. But even so, being too slow is a terrible thing. I mean, it's just too much of a demerit. Usually you are not going to use uh, Micah's basic attacks to deal damage. You're just going to avoid uh, especially if you're playing alone because the enemies are going to track you. If uh, you're on, on BR, you're not going to be using Micah. The AI is going to use Micah. The AI is going to use the basic attacks and that's going to be fine. That's going to be okay. Because the AI, the enemies are not going to target the that Micah, your Micah. They're going to tag, target something that is closer to them. Like your tank, your, your taunter. So yeah, uh, but the basic attacks of Micah are not good. And what does Pyro do? Well, normal attack becomes a charge attack and super armor is applied during the charge. Well, that solves a little bit of the problem. So you're going to charge the attack and you're going to um, release it whenever you want. And there's benefit to this, even if the enemy gets near you and hits you, increase the defense by 20% while attacking. Increase the, def the defense additionally by 40% while attacking. That's a 60% defense increase. That's nice. And it's not, well, it says defense increase, not damage reduction. So, uh, as far as I know, defense increase is more power powerful than damage reduction, but, but it depends on the numbers. So, it is pretty good, this effect, but... I think that instead of particle charge, this would need to have something like a stone groggy or something else. Like when you hit the enemy, you make them groggy. So you break the super armor with the skills and then your basics, you're going to charge them. The enemies are near you. You release them. You release your, your basic and you're going to make the enemies groggy. That would be okay. But this, no, no, no. Uh, Grimor, if you want to to keep these, uh, which is fine because everyone needs the basic enhancer, just change the particle effect. I know that it's a, a staple for all of them, but Maika doesn't get any kind of benefit from particle gain on her basics. No, um, uh, the only option, the only thing that would make particle uh, gain viable on Micah would be to increase her attack speed. That's another possible option, but I don't think that uh, Grimory wants to to make Micah uh, that different because uh, it, it is her playstyle. She's a, um, a rocket launcher attacker, so she's supposed to be slow. Yeah, I guess. So yeah, rethink on how the basic works, Grimory. That that needs like a ton of rework there, there's many things that they can do but uh, we'll leave it at, at that let's continue then we have death from above this is okay uh, well when, not, when I say okay I mean it's it's good it doesn't need uh, 
any kind of rework. It's a whole debate, it's the all red skill, and it says, fire a missile that divides into two, into 12 homing bullets in the air. Knock down the enemy. Add eight more homing bullets. Increases critical rate by, by 50%. So uh, the third effect is not that impressive, but it's okay to be on red because we have a lot of uh, red supporters that increase critical damage. So this allow us to crit and get that extra damage on red. That's super cool. Uh, of course, the, the best part is the amount of multi hits that this has. The knockback, the knockdown is an added benefit for mobs. It is good for mob control because of the amount of multi hits too. And it tracks the enemy, so it's, it's nice, it's nice. So this is a very powerful skill in many senses, but uh, we're gonna check how powerful it is, it is on the builds. Then we have Grenade Launcher. Grenade Launcher is going to be uh, the one of the two perfect dodge uh, skills, and this is also part of the problem. Uh, a character sharing commands is kind of normal, but uh, sharing the perfect dodge it, it's the worst thing that uh, a character can have. Uh, a character can have like can share. Uh, like hold attacks, uh, where are hold attacks, or maybe I don't see any hold attacks. Do we have a this hold attacks, or maybe dash attacks? But perfect base, please don't do that, Grimory. Uh, that's like the one thing that you don't want. If the character has a perfect debate, you want to use the perfect debate uh, for most builds. So let's see, uh, depending on the fact, of course, but. This one says, during an extreme dodge, summon an artillery that automatically attacks nearby enemies for 8 seconds. So this would be acceptable if it was a little bit uh, tweaked. So it says, summons one additional artillery with two green. Increases damage of the artillery by 33%. Increases the duration of the artillery by 50%. So. Which is the problem here? That only one of these is not a big deal. If by applying the set effect, you summon an additional one, guaranteed, so you always summon two, and on green you summon three, that would be nice. That would be acceptable because you have many sources of damage. On green it would be particularly strong. On blue it would de deal damage, yes. And on red, I don't think it would be that impressive, but at least you would get more damage, two sources of damage, and yourself. So, um, yeah, this skill is not good. Uh, I, I don't think that it needs to be replaced for a new skill, but it does have to be enhanced, definitely. Uh, I, I really tried making builds with this and it's just too weak in, in all the colors. Green is the strongest one, but it's not enough. Uh, I mean, if it was three, three of these, I, I would be okay with it. So uh, these do not use for the most part, please, until it gets reworked. Then we have a ruthless explosion. Again, this is another good skill. I mean, it doesn't need rework. It's a double dash that fires a torrent of flames that move on the ground towards the enemy. This is the skill that applies its effect on uh, pure colors. So <coughs> with three green increases range of the flames by 30%. That's, I mean, not that impressive, but it's good that it uh, uh, has a, a bigger AOE so that you're going to hit more enemies and get more particle charge, maybe, or more damage. So it's okay. And three blue reduces the damage from enemies that got hit by 33 by 30% 30 for 10 seconds. Uh, it's like, whatever. I mean, 30% is a good number, but damage reduction, uh, well, attack reduction, uh, is not that great. I mean, because of how the game works, it's not that the, the effect itself is bad, 
but challenging content has this effect where if you get hit, you may get a, a kind of debuff. So reducing the attack isn't that valuable if you want to evade all the attacks in that case. Um, and then we have uh, three red. Reduces the defense of the enemies that got hit by 30% for 10 seconds. That's really, really, really strong. That's why uh, Mika on red is one of the strongest builds that you can use for, for this character. So um, it is okay. I mean, I, I just said that blue is like not good, but it's acceptable that one of the three effects is not that good. Uh, especially if one of the effects is very busted, like red. Then we have another one that is okay, that doesn't need any kind of changes. Increase incendiary round, incendiary round. It's a whole debate and it says fire flaming bullet that explodes, explodes on contact. Flaming bullet explodes, burning the ground and causing damage over time with one green. With two green, decreases the defense of the enemies that got hit by 20% for 10 seconds. And with three green, increases critical damage by 250%. All of these effects are pretty good. The, that's like perfect. Grimoire doesn't need to, to do anything about it. And I don't think it's going to because, I mean, the weapon is meant to enhance this. The, the limited weapon is to enhance this. So it's uh, unlikely that they would um, make any kind of uh, tweak or a modification to this skill. Then we have Megido, Maido Flame. <laughs> Megido. So uh, Maido Flame is going to be... Uh, a double dash fires the flames of Meido Bazooka towards the enemy for three seconds on the spot and gains super armor. So yeah, I know what you think that this is like kind of bad, but gaining super armor is good because you're not gonna get interrupted. And you say, but if they hit you and they kill you, well, on blue you have uh, good supporters for defense, so. I mean, that shouldn't be that much of a deal, especially if you're doing a ton of damage. You're going to resist some attacks for most content. VR, yes, that's a different case. But for most core content, it's going to be fine, as long as you put defense. Um, and it says, set one, reduce damage taken by 50% during an attack. That's an additional thing. So my case is meant to defend. They know that this is very weak. Uh, uh, you're gonna get hit, I mean, and uh, you're gonna receive defense naturally just because, well, damage reduction, damage reduction. So it is starting to look good uh, despite the bad, um, not positioning, but uh, the, the fact that you have to be there in place waiting for the enemy to hit you. So... Uh, with two blue, increases the duration of the skills by two seconds. Yeah, that's, I mean, I, I would rather prefer a more a, a defense reduction so that I deal more damage and I don't have to stay in place. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that's a noopsie on Grimory's part. I mean, if you break the super armor, this is valuable. But if you don't, then it's risky. So, just make sure to know if you can deal enough damage to break the super armor or not. Or use it when you're about to break the super armor. Then, increases skill damage by 150%. That's nice, that's acceptable. Uh, especially on blue, it's gonna be good because blue specializes on raw damage. Then we have Diamond in Art Crimson Loots. This is the equivalent of the launching skills, which is not a launching skill in this case because it activates with uh, one of each. And this is another one that desperately needs a rework. These three, uh, there's one more, but those three need a rework. Like there's just a slight things they, they need to do to these two, but these need to be replaced, not the rework. This needs to be replaced for a different kind of attack. During normal attacks, hold attack. After the normal attack, hit with an additional shelling. The skill motion changes depending on the charging level. So you can charge with this. So you, you do your, you hold the attack and then you can do this uh, effect of charging. 
Or you can attack and then you hold attack and then you do this one. So it is not good. With one green you gain super armor. With one blue increases the skill damage by 25%. And with one uh, red stuns the enemy. This? This stun should be here. This should be here. Uh, so... What's the problem? The same as the basics. That they are too slow, that the enemies are going to hit you. So, and this doesn't have defense reduction, like unlike the, the basic enhancer. So it's worse. You have super armor, yeah, that's fine because you're not gonna get interrupted, uh, just like this one. But <laughs> doesn't have the, the defense increases and it's basically the same that's that's part of the problem it doesn't give variety to the to the kind of things that Micah can do that's terrible i mean it's it's this but without the charge time it's uh, faster so yeah that's not great then we have pile flare this also need rework huh. what a surprise so this is a dash attack rushes to the enemy and fires a cannon up close. So that's the main problem of this skill, that you need to get near the enemy. <laughs> and you see this horrible, horrible animation. Maika is a range attacker, so she doesn't want to get near the enemy. And that's why she gets back after attacking. She gains a little bit of distance. That's good, but I, I, I don't want to get near the enemy. Instead, if you want to do a dash attack, why don't you do a dash attack like, like um, Linas? That you dash, you attack, and you're going to be uh, teleported or you're going to move through the enemy so that you are behind them. That would I, I would accept, but this, it feels super awkward, the movement, when playing with this skill. I gotta say, I mean, uh, well, let's look at the effects. Uh, <coughs> set, uh, this is, is the one that works with the main, and that makes it, makes it even more, but because this is going to be the one that you want to use on, <laughs> on mixed builds. So yeah, that's the thing. The, the effects are not bad, but the way the skill moves is bad. So, the, with a main green, increases the speed by 20% for 10 seconds. Uh, I mean, I, I like that usually, but in Micah's case, she's already pretty slow. The basic doesn't get that much benefit of, of this effect, on this effect. So, if, if the basic were, were faster, maybe I, I would feel like it actually has the speed boost. But it just feels like a normal time man in there <laughs> with the speed boost. Uh, so... Uh, set uh, main blue, main blue increases the defense by 10% for six, for 10 seconds. Uh, I mean, I I appreciate the defense increase, but getting near the enemy to get a defense increase, uh, I don't like that. And main red increases dam main red increases damage by ten percent for ten seconds. That's actually very good. A damage increase is always good. So yeah, this only needs a rework, and uh, not on the effects, but rather on the way that the, the skill moves. I mean, I already said that four skills need to be reworked or maybe tweaked. That's a bad sign on how many things you can do with Micah. Carpet bombing is strong, strong, strong. Another one that doesn't need anything at all. Immediately before enemy attack, dash. It's a perfect debate. During extreme dash, rel relentlessly shells the area for four seconds. A great amount of multi hit, a great damage from this skill it is perfect. A big AOE, it's just amazing. With two green, Shelling area is increased by 50%. So that's good. Just like Ruthless Explosion, it is meant to be something to increase your particle gain because you're going to hit more enemies. With 2 blue, increases damage by 12% for 
10 seconds. That's great. It gives variety to blue and you have another means of increasing damage. This is a buff because it has a duration. That's amazing. And the last one, two red. Increases the duration by 50%. Also appreciated, the amount of multi-hits is very good for proccing White Fedoraska. So it's amazing to increase the duration. Then we have the last skill. This is the Awakening skill that you get at level 81. And it's the skill, another skill that needs to be reworked. My god. Immediately after an enemy attack, dodge. Micah doesn't want to be attacked. But I, I'll accept it. I mean, getting one of those skills is good because in case of an emergency, you can pop it and you're going to get a benefit in some way. Immediately after an enemy attack, step back and counterattack with an explosive round. Two green. Reduces the speed of the enemy by 20% for 10 seconds. That's good. Mm, two blue. Makes the enemy groggy. That's whatever. It can be used on PvP. To red increases the area of explosion explosive round by 30 percent that is good but there's a problem here the area of effect the base area of effect is like a single target attack it's it just hits one enemy it's pretty bad the base area of effect should be what it is on red because if not it's, it's not gonna hit anything and this amazing effect of reducing speed is only going to affect one enemy so it doesn't matter if you do it i mean if you're fighting one boss like but the problem is if you're fighting one boss what are you fighting vr and do you want to take a hit yeah grammary I totally get this, but what you need to do is that you need to increase the base area of this skill and then change this effect for, for something else. Maybe uh, uh, another, uh, I, I don't even know. I was going to say like another defense reduction, but I don't think that's a good idea. Maybe um, a heal, uh, some kind of healing skill here. So. We have one, two, no, one, two, three, four, five. Five skills. Five skills out of ten that need to be reworked, in my opinion. This is bad. Like, uh, this, the particle doesn't uh, help at all. The basics themselves are already slow. This uh, doesn't give enough value in combat unless you add another... Uh, another summon <coughs> and this is just the same as the basic enhancer but different like not that big of a difference uh pile flare the, the only problem it has is the animation because it's kind of weird um like how you feel that you get too close and then you go back but while you get too close you could get interrupted so that's risky and then uh, explosive round, the, the fact that you need to get hit and the value of these effects is uh, like nothing uh, compared to the fact that you took a hit and, well, we're going to test her. <laughs> I'm not going to discuss that anymore. And we're going to start uh, with the good stuff, with the limited pack. If you haven't watched the video of the limited pack, this is uh, going to be useful for those who who already watch it you can skip it it's exactly the same we're gonna use carpet bombing uh, to gain a lot of particles and do multi hits uh, root explosion for the same reason to deal a lot of multi hits and gain particles and incendiary rounds to deal a ton of damage so we're gonna be using the weapon here of course for the build 5 out of 5 plus 13 5 out of 5 plus 13 anti-demon wind that increases uh, speed and damage of range attacks. Um, we're going to be using Mika, of course, along with uh, Kowaru and Akane. Five out of five, everything. So, yeah, that, that's it. Um, let's see. Unfortunately, these enemies are just too weak. 
<laughs> the ones in in this stage. So I cannot show you the the proper way to use this. I'm not going to ch charge my particles. Uh, like I'm gonna use this just to increase my particle charge. Come on, come on. Like that. Come here, guys. Well, girls, whatever. Just. I need to increase my particle charge. Uh, the idea here is that you reach max uh, particle charge because that's going to give you an attack boost with uh, Mica, future Mica, the supporter. And each time you reach the, the particle uh, limit, the max particle charge, you're going to get an attack buff. So what do you do in that case? You want to use um, incendiary round and then you use the active and then you use incendiary round and you charge your particles again. But unfortunately, as I said, everyone is too weak here. Uh, and look, I'm going to get two stacks of the of the attack buff. Each stack, each time you, you reach the limit, you're going to get more particles. So yeah, this would... Oh, a glitch. It's completely black. Okay. So, uh, <coughs> you want to constantly gain particles here uh, with your skills, hitting a lot of enemies, so that this gives you more damage. This has a very long duration, that's super cool. But unfortunately, we don't have other green supporters that uh, synergize with this. Uh, I mean, we have um, the Umbrella Girl, this one, Hikage, and we also have Momoko. But 50% is not enough for this kind of build. You want something like Ingrid, but you also want to be full green because of the skill that you're using in Cinderella Rounds. So yeah, you want something like this, like 200%, 150%. Uh, well, let's continue with the next one. Another green. From now on, I'm going to be using the same weapon. I'm going to use the Arena weapon. Uh, oh, and before I forget, I mentioned previously on on one of my videos that uh, these effects don't uh, work on on characters that are unawakened. I assumed that, and here it says that it applies to all characters, even unawakened characters, even level one characters. Uh, but one thing to take into consideration is that grammar is not <laughs> known for getting good. Um, translations all the time or being super specific so i i don't trust them fully even if it's on the on the game like i also test things uh just to see if they work or not uh and i got confirmation from grammary that's why i'm telling you that this does work uh these effects actually apply for all your characters no matter the awakening level so yes uh now we're going to be using this weapon. It doesn't give me any kind of benefit uh, because the enemy doesn't do ulti and they are not... Well, I don't think they are counted as time manning. This is for PvP, let's say. Uh, then uh, we have Rude Explosion, Incendiary Round, Carpet Bombing. It is exactly the same, but we're not going to be using uh, that weapon. We're only going to be critting. It's kind of the same without the cooldown reduction on Incendiary Round. So... Uh, instead, we're going to deal more damage. And we use a cannon on the main to get HP recovery in case it's needed. So look. And it gives me way more damage. Oh, amazing, amazing. With one hit, I was able to, to destroy everyone. So I do this now. Incendiary rounds. And everyone is dead. One basic. And my particle charge is nothing, as you can see. So I do this, and this, and this. And all the enemies are dead already. Yeah. Mike is super strong with the good skills. Yes. But trying to use the bad skills, uh, I have a bit with the bad ones. So we're going to see what she can do. Uh -huh. uh, another green? Ah, I guess it's a different kind of green. Yeah. Yeah, this one, it's a basic, a basic uh, attack. So it has the basic attack and it's not going to use the other ones. It's going to use 
grenade launcher. <laughs> it's going to use the bad ones. Okay, so I'm going to get a sprint increase. That's good for the basic attack. Uh, that's why I use the basic attack enhancer. And I'm using this to, so that you check the difference between calpit bombing and... No, no, sorry, not this. Uh, grenade launcher. So that you check the difference between the carpet bombing and grenade launching. Uh, in green, grenade launching, as I mentioned, it's usable. Because the damage increase is not that noticeable on blue, and the damage, uh, the, the duration is not that important on red. So we're gonna start by doing this, and then I do the evade. You see that weird evade? Well, not evade, but dash attack. Yeah, it's like super weird. Come on, here. Uh, what you want to do on this one is that you want to reposition yourself constantly. <clears throat> because it's based on the basic attacks. Yeah, you're constantly going to interrupt the actions of the of the enemies with this uh, build, but you don't have that much power, um, so you're not going to um, do a lot of multi. No, no, you're not going to be breaking the super armor of the stronger of the strongest enemies. Uh, this charges a lot the the particles uh, because I'm using the basics. I'm relying on that, and that takes a lot of time. So you have the charge over time. You have the charge increase on the basics. You have the all the attacks attacking simultaneously. So yeah, of course you're gonna charge particles. So you want to use your ulti on this one? What? Wow. That was a lot of damage for everyone else. Like, well, uh, uh, I'm not gonna do this again. This build is terrible, guys. <laughs> I mean, I did all my damage with the ulti. And I don't know how I did that much damage. Uh, let, let's check the, the supers. We skip that. So here, because I know I'm going to take hits, I'm, go I'm using this to reduce damage taken, increase my damage... Uh, my damage on my attacks and increase my HP. Um, yeah, it is not that great of a build, but if you want to use it for ulting, I guess you can use it. I mean, it is too slow, that's the problem. And it's not going to deal with the super armor of the enemies. Um, I, I don't want to even try it on VR, it would be horrible. Uh -huh. So yeah, it is a thing that you can do if you liked like doing the basic attacks, but I don't think that anyone likes that. <laughs> oh, what a shame. I mean, I'm bad mouthing her, but I do like her. Like, she's really strong with five of her skills, but the other five are like... Argh. Not what you want. Megiddo Flame. Uh, we're gonna use Megiddo Flame because it's the main damaging skill on blue. Carpet Bombing, carpet bombing because of the damage increase and pile flare just for the defense increase and uh, because of her versatility not that i like to use this one uh but i mean using ruthless explosion is not going to give me that much value i can tell you that if you want to use this as a damaging skill it's completely fine to use ruthless explo explosion so yeah let's check uh, weapon is the same supporters lilim because she works on protect, and of course, Micah is a protect type character, and she's gonna give me damage. She's also on the main because she has a good active. And then we have Nana. Nana is gonna be super amazing because it has a 40% damage reduction. So it's amazing. That, that's a big number. And Onigomo, because I don't have anything better. If I wanted, I could use Arabella for a VR on this build. I could use um, Reina for normal content to increase damage, uh, Akina to gain uh, HP recovery. Uh, this could also work, but I don't like it because, uh, uh, as I said, Mika is very, very slow. Uh, so yeah, those are some options. So let's test this one. This one, I mean, when you see it in, um, and you see the blue skill, it's like, well, the blue skill isn't as bad as it seems. So, yeah, 
We're gonna do this, and we're gonna do double, and uh, uh, burning hell. Yeah, like that. Okay. Oh, you're alive! You're alive! So yeah, take this. Okay, whoa! Like that. A, a ton of damage, yeah, nice. Okay, I'm gonna use this one because I don't want to waste the other one, the carpet bombing. So what am I going to do here? I'm gonna start with carpet bombing, then immediately I'm going to use Lilim, and then I'm going to use the double dash. So one, two, come on, like this, Lilim, double dash, double dash, and a lot of damage! Damage, I tell you, damage. You see? It is not as bad as you may think. Uh, the the idea about this one is to know when to use it or abuse damage then it's good <coughs> because it, it's a good amount of hits per second it's not like posted like super fast but it's a uh, really strong hits on the enemy so yeah and that one was the blue one. Oh my god let's see I have to check more, I have to check now my phone to see the other builds. Mm, since this is taking a lot uh, of time, I'm going to... Uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, unfortunately, I only did like a couple, like one per, per mix build. So it's not gonna take that long. Here we're using Murasaki, oh, the tank one. The tank is not a good idea on this, but if you're struggling, going tank is always good. So I'm gonna use more as Akina and I'm also going to use Akina <coughs> to get a ton of HP recovery. And Murasaki because her um, her active is super great. I had this one out of five, but uh, I got an extra copy on the exchange facility. Lucky me, right? So. Uh, Maybe you can get one copy one day, or you already have one copy. Uh, really super strong, the, uh, that Murasaki, even with one copy. Uh, ah, yeah, the skills, the skills. That's what I'm missing. So for this, we're going to use Ruthless Explosion, Pile, and Carpet Bombing. Yeah, so the idea here is to be a tank. And what is the benefit of this? You get damage increase. You reduce the attack of the enemy and you get defense. So yeah, it's not like... And you're going to constantly heal HP thanks to Akina and Murasaki. So it is not my favorite because you don't want your range attackers to be tanks. But if you're in a dire situation and you need to last long, well, that's an option. What can I say? It's, it's there. Um, oh, come on. Come on. Yes, like that. Also, you want to combo this pretty well. Like, know when to use everything. So the first thing that you want to do is do the perfect debate. If I can do it. Perfect debate. Then you do pile. And then you do ruthless. And there we go. Because... Or you can use Ruthless and then Pile. Uh, because you want to increase your damage with Carpet Bombing. That's why we are doing Carpet first. You see how they are not dealing any damage? I mean, with my Awakening skills and uh, with the damage reduction and the buffs, they're not going to do anything at all. Um, and the ideal thing on this kind of build is to use the the ulti. Ruthless explosion, yes. Okay, I'm gonna use the ulti. And I'm gonna use the ulti again. Because I want to do this. Yes. 
Yes, like that. Excellent. Two ultis. That's the main appeal of using Murasaki. To abuse the ultis. <coughs> Murasaki is one of the few supporters that you want to use for an ulti build. But you want to use it on a stage with multiple enemies. Uh, there we go. So, yeah. Uh, why do we want to play with ultis on this one? Uh, because... Well, because Mika doesn't have that much damage with this kind of build, so you do want to abuse the ulti. Uh, let's see. We're gonna go red, okay. And for that we're gonna go Bonnie, because Bonnie is red. Bonnie Mika. So, we're using the same, but we're using here... Oh, this is a classic. You want this for BR, it's, it's great. So, we're gonna use Susuni. We're gonna use... Mm. Um. Hey, what's the name? Shizuru, the supporter. No, uh, Yukina. Yukina. Yeah, that's the name. We're gonna use Yukina, and we're gonna use um her. But if you don't want to use Kirara, depending on what you're going for, you can also use Nino, or you can use um Stella, or Barretta. Whatever you you use is fine. You just want to increase your damage. Also, Gallinin is an, another option if you want. Especially if you want defense. Uh, for this, I'm going to use, as I said, her. Uh, it gives HP recovery, so that's fine. If you want to change someone to put in the main uh, White Fedoraska, that's a great option. We're going to be using... Um, let's see. Rootless Explosion, Carpet Bombing, and Dead From Above. So, yeah. What's the idea here? That you use Ruthless Explosion to inflict a debuff on the enemy. Then you use Carpet Bombing to deal damage. Or uh, Dead From Above to also deal damage. So, the key ingredient here is going to be that Ruthless Explosion. Because that uh, procs the, the damage increase on the support Susune and, and Kirara. But if you don't want that, you can always go for generics that give you damage increase. It's going to be a lower number, but it's fine. Oh my god. I, I, I didn't get interrupted, fortunately. It has a good super armor. Uh, so, Ruthless Explosion, and then this. You see how explosive the damage is? It's just amazing. And having Susune on the main is also pretty good. Because you can use her active to inflict a debuff on the enemy. And they are not dead, but almost dead. Debuff, debuff. You see? Super easy. This is the strongest one. Because of the huge damage uh, reduction. It's especially good for BR, you know? Uh, let's see. The next one is going to be, I guess, another red. But let's see what it's going to do. Okay, it's exactly the same supporters. But let's check the skills. Ruthless Explosion. Oh, oh, oh. As I mentioned. Pile? Uh, Ruthless Explosion. Ah, no. That's from above we're also going to use. So we're going to uh, give up this one to use Pile. Pile Flare because it gives us a damage increase. And that's nice. So all the damage is going to come from Death From Above. The combo is going to be... Uh, pile, carp, no, not carpet, ruthless. Pile, ruthless, and then death from above, or ruthless, uh, pile, death from above. And for this, we're gonna use this custom, the other red, this red, <coughs> to put a little bit of variety. Yeah, so that's another one. And then after this, we're gonna start with the mixed. Rootless. Oh, that's from above. I shouldn't have done that, but they are already dead. Okay, one more time. This time I just let them gather, and then I do Ruthless. And then I do Pile. And then I do Dead from above, and they are super. Oh, come on! They never die like. 
all of them. But okay, okay. Here I want to use pile and then rootless and then her because it didn't work. And okay, damage increase. Come on, like this, like so. Well, I mean, I think it was faster the last time. Come on. Ah, they don't have a debuff right now. Or not all of them. Bye bye. Okay, yeah. I mean, the, the disadvantage is just how the how pile flare moves that's the only bad thing about this set everything is like super cool the effects are nice but this is just like it doesn't synergize well grammary when 50 percent of the skills are like not good and the other 50 are like busted it's like uh, it is not a bad character but there's few things that i can really do with this one uh-huh let's see then we're gonna use the mix builds. For the mix builds, we're starting with pile. Obviously, we're gonna use pile because it's the one that has effects on the main. Then we're gonna use carpet, and we're gonna use Tamanin Art, Crimson Lotus. Okay, so for this one, we're going blue and red. For red, we're gonna use um, what's the name of this one? Where are you, Vareta? Yes, and we're gonna go Crit. So we're going to use, obviously, hair, and we're going to use Lilim just as a generic means of damage increase. So why do we want this? Well, Carpet Bombing is going to increase the damage, and Lotus is going to increase the damage. That's why. Uh, if you want... And this is also going to increase the damage. So it's damage increase so that Lotus deals a ton of damage. Uh, still, it's in, it isn't the greatest, but... Uh, let, let's test it. I mean, uh, let me check what skin. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna use this one. The dangerous one. The danger zone. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> let's see. So, for this one, I do this and then I. Oh, come on, it's too strong! Okay. Damage increase, damage increase. Damage increase, damage increase. Yeah, the, the build works, but it's not my favorite, you know. The fact that she's just too slow with the basics. And the only good thing about it if it's if you get a ton of you know what? Another effect that could work on Micah's basics is that they knock back the enemy naturally. That would be amazing because you, you would get space in between. But they also need a, a big AoE. Uh, so, okay. I'm going to evade. Then I'm going to dash attack. And then I'm going to charge attack. Oh, but come on! Let me! God. I need to do that again. So, evade dash attack and then charge attack okay everyone is dead before i could actually do <laughs> anything that was that i was supposed to do but well yeah that's why i say these are bad because it's just how slow uh, they are the, the combination of blue and, and uh red is kind of nice because of that huge damage increase that you have with pile flare and well, it's not huge, but it's acceptable. It's 22% 20 per, more. Uh, yeah, it's 22, right? Yeah. So, uh, these two are nice together, but as usual, the animation, yeah. Not the greatest. Next, we're going to go triple color. So, I guess I'm going to keep that skill. I'm going to leave Reyna. I'm going to use... I'm going to leave Barretta, but I'm going to use Suruga to increase that uh, crit rate and guarantee that I always crit. So this is critical um, triple color. Obviously, 
we're using uh, Tamanin Art, but we are also using the other Tamanin Art, Pyro. Crimson Lotus and Pyro along with Pile Flare to increase damage. So you have two ways of doing attacks. You can do <coughs> basic and then another basic but enhanced. Uh, but first you want to do this and then you do your basics. Yeah, you see, it's not like... If you like the slow, uh, playing slowly, yeah, it's, I mean, usable, but not appealing for the most part. I mean, it works in at the end of the day, so... Uh, well... I just don't find it that appealing, I guess. But as I mentioned, the the damage reduction is just too powerful on the basic enhancer, so it is kind of acceptable, kind of. Okay, I already dealt with her. So yeah, I, and besides the, I can do this because I have my awakening skills and they are busted they are over a hundred percent damage reduction but if you don't have that then you're going to be struggling against the enemies because they're going to hit you for a ton of damage and you're not going to be able to to launch your skills before you die well you see that it works but it's not the best <coughs> Let's see. Uh, the next one is going to be double, double. Uh, I'm going to use this. Double red along with uh, green. For this, we're going to be using not Pareta, but Sora. Sora, because she's good for range attackers, we're going to be using Stella because generic damage increase, and we're going to be using Yukina because of skill damage. Uh, that's it. And we're using... Yes, great, excellent. So for this we're going to use Death From Above. It's... Uh, but we're also using Crimson, so Death From Above. The fact that you're giving up the critical rate isn't that big of a deal as long as you go for generic damage. That's why I'm going for generic damage and not crit. Uh, let's see. Mm, the other one is going to be Carpet Bombic because, well, generic good. All of those skills are generic good. Ruthless I cannot use because it needs... I mean, uh, yes, I can use, but I lose effectiveness on that one. So I prefer to use Carpet Bombing instead. So the combo would be to, to use Lotus. Ah, yeah, because it's mix. Uh... Carpet bombing follow what by whatever you want, like preferably dead from above and then Lotus, uh, because you're going to break the super armor with the, the, the amount of multi hits that you have, and then you can do Lotus without worrying about getting any enemies nearby. So look, I do this, and I do this, and then I start using Lotus. You see, it works. It works. Um, but just because of the amount of multi hits that I have on those skills. So, come on. There. Carpet. Followed by. A ruthless. No, not Ruthless. I, I forgot the name already. A Death from Above and then Lotus. I didn't use Lotus on time, as you saw. But this build is pretty fun, actually. It's one of those occasions where using Lotus is not that bad. Okay, so one more time. Here, you want to position yourself properly so that they take the most amount of heals, uh, of hits possible. Yes, nice. Yes, perfect, very good. 
yeah, these mix builds, it's actually fun. Uh, but you see that I always rely on two of the strong skills. Like, I never use the weak ones. <laughs> Even though I, I want to try them, it's like, they're just too bad. Uh, let's see. The next one is going to be double green along with red. Uh, for this one... Yeah, this is the, the last that I made. Uh, we're going to be using... Barretta again, Barretta, 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 here, along with the critical supporters, generic crit, uh, Kaoru and Suruga. If you want more damage and you know that you can crit, go for um, Akane. If you know you have trouble critting, then go for Lefria, especially since we're going to receive Lefria soon enough. So, yeah, and the Carpet Bombic. Carpet bombing, pile, and what is the last one? Explosive rounds? Explosive rounds. Oh, yeah. So let me explain this one. You want to use pile for it to increase your damage, then carpet bombing, and in case of an emergency, we're gonna use this, which isn't good, but ju just so that you see. In fact, I'm gonna start with it so that you know what I'm talking about when I say it's not good. Uh, let's see. Like, I guess I, I'll use classic mica. Red classic mica, which is already red, but more red, I guess. So, yeah. <coughs> so, first of all, we gather the enemies and we... Only two of them got hit. Yeah. The AOE isn't that great. So, okay. Damage increase. Nice. Yeah, the, the counter is just an emergency button. It's not that great. I am not using enhanced basic attacks, so now you can see <laughs> how bad they are. Like, they do deal gr a great amount of damage. But, um, like, the animation needs to be a little bit faster, god. So that she doesn't feel as clunky. Okay, so I'm gonna do it now. Counter, then this, and then one of eight. Mm, come on. I, I beat them with the basics, God. There. Nice, that's what I wanted. Yeah. Like, <coughs> it's unbelievable the amount of skills that need to be tweaked or reworked or changed like as i mentioned the particle charge increase isn't that great it's possible to make a build for particle charge but an ulti build let's say but uh, it's kind of a slow usually people prefer to just uh kill the enemies with the with the skills um, or get a, a good amount of particles with multi-hits. Uh, then we have this, that it's just a, 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 a copy of the basic attack and the basic enhancer, but kind of different, which isn't that great. I mean, no, 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 no. I, I really, like, don't want to use it because it just... The same as the Tarman in art. It feels the same. I know it's not exactly the same. But it's just too similar that it's like... What's the difference? This one, I, I hate how it moves. Like in front and then back. It just... I, I it, it makes me feel some con uncomfortable somehow. I don't know why. And this, the AoE is the problem. I mean, just uh, changing the AoE of the attack and... Um, 
you know what you could do? You could do something like Asuka, like she drops bombs. Maybe she can drop grenades and then she she do, does a backflip or something. I don't know. That would be amazing. Uh, yeah, well, in any case, let's analyze her weapons uh, just to finish. <clears throat> For supporters, you want to increase the damage with her in any way, shape or form. You also want to give a, some kind of good effect on the main, something like control, uh, like Susune, or maybe White Federasca, thanks to the amount of multi hits. Uh, giving her defense is also nice, but on, depending on context, if you're uh, using the character for challenging content, solo challenging content, then it's a good idea. If that's not the case, then don't do it. You just go full damage and you're going to kill everything on dailies. And on VR, as long as you have a taunter, it doesn't matter. On the other hand, the weapons, the weapons, the weapons, the weapons for Mika. So Mika is a very fortunate character. She has the critical rate increase uh, weapon. If you want to use this, that's excellent. That's super good, especially for F2Ps. Uh, then we have uh, this one. Increases skill damage by 20%. That's going to be 40%. It's not that bad if you want to go for skills. It's, I mean, usually no one goes for, for normal attacks. So it is fine to use this one. It is pretty good. Uh, let's see. Uh, we have the, the pack weapon, which is bad. Like all the other pack weapons. We have the Sakura weapon, which is uh, okay for uh, to make the enemy groggy. If you're going for that. Then we have the uh, exclusive weapon from the Gacha for Mika. This is one of the worst. <laughs> Increases critical rate of normal attacks. By 15%, that's go up to 30%. So it's kind of like her limited weapon. But instead of uh, giving crit for, for a skill, it does it on her basic attacks. And those are, as I mentioned, pretty bad for the most part. They are like okay on BR because they, the enemy doesn't get near you. But if you're on a station, well, yeah, they're strong but too slow in my opinion. Like, I don't know, at least if she could get her attacks interrupted, that, that would make it more viable, I guess. Let's see. It deals damage and makes the enemy groggy with the last hit. Um, mm -hmm. This is, like, not impressive at all. It doesn't, it doesn't give a good effect, so I, I wouldn't recommend it. And besides, the particle charges, the particle cost is huge. Six particles. Just for that damage and, and groggy? No, better use your ulti. I mean... It is not a good weapon at all. It is uh, one of those rare cases where the character release weapon is not good. Uh, the arena weapons, you know, beat sticks, very good beat sticks. Uh, Momochi weapon. Uh, I mean, it can be used. Especially with the skills. You don't want to use this with basic uh, uh, attacks or... With the uh, builds that I show that they focus on on the bazooka too much, uh, you want to focus on, and I I mean those skills that look like they are doing the basic attacks. So yeah, you want to use this on ruthless explosion and carpet bombing basically, and I guess also incendiary round because that works too. Uh, this one is going to give you damage against super armor. That's completely fine. It's pretty good. A generic effect that works for the most time, for the most part. And this one is going to increase critical rate of incendiary rounds by 15%. That goes up to 30%. Remember, incendiary rounds has its own uh, critical damage increase. So that's amazing for normal content. And it even works on BR. I can like guarantee crit on BR. Like with the skill, with the skill. Everything else doesn't crit. Uh, resets the cooldown time of incendiary round immediately after the particle charges from attack. Uh, after that, particle charges from attack is reduced by 27% for 5 seconds, a stack up to 3 times. So, 
you really want the S level to reduce this so that it's nothing. And incendiary round reset is very strong. The skill is busted and firing it, firing it twice it's really strong. You're going to melt the enemies, as you saw. So yeah, those are the weapons. So what do I think about Mika? Even with half the skills being pretty weak or clunky or slow, she's really strong. The other five skills are just that busted. And the fact that she's a range character make her, make her pretty good. She is one of the fastest farmers in the game, thanks to the carpet bombing and rootless explosion. Those skills have great AoE, and they deal a ton of damage. Also, Death from Above and um, all of her, her color skills are super amazing for farming too. They have a big AoE, all of them, or tracking system, so that's great. Uh, she also is pretty good for challenging content, thanks to the utility that she has on the fact that she can uh, reduce the, the defense by a ton, and also has a great amount of multi-hit that synergizes with uh, White Feather Aska. Even though she doesn't get any kind of benefit for, from using White Feather Aska, no kind of attack buff, uh, she still breaks the super armor and that's amazing. Um, she's pretty easy to use. But the main drawback is that she doesn't have that many builds because, as I mentioned, half the skills are busted and half the skills are kind of wacky. So, yeah, you you decide whether or not you like it. She has a, a pretty design. She has uh, nice skins. Uh, she has good attack, like super good attack. Not, not the strongest attack, but it's strong enough in my opinion and uh, she doesn't need like a, a great a super weapon the, the best weapon that she has of course is her limited but as you saw you can use the the sr perfectly fine both i mean this is better because it gives you 80 percent and this would give you oh it gives you 80 no 40 percent when max out 40 so uh, this gives you more damage you would prefer that but I mean, it's a very F2P friendly character. Uh, that's that's the main appeal. Like using Gal, Lilim, um, Kirara, and Susune, or even Stella, works perfectly with her. So yeah, and if you are one of those uh, guys who have crit builds, then on green, she's gonna work too. So. You decide whether or not you get it. In my opinion, it's a super great character. Uh, but I don't... I think that she desperately needs... Rebalancing on those skills. And replacing some of them. Definitely replacing some of them. Like, this needs to change the animation. This needs to be changed. Because it's just the same as the time and in art. This uh, needs... An extra summon uh, just by activating the set effect. This needs to increase the range, the range, and this needs to change the particle charge amount. Yeah. Well, uh, that's about it, guys. Tell me in the comments what you think, and I'll be seeing you next time. Bye.